Hi guys, Steve the Transit Camper. Baby's just finished three nights. It's actually six. So I'm taking her out for the night and I thought it would be really nice if I took her to Tesco's. So we've had some late red hot information off Shishi next door. She says she was fine for being on the car park for more than three hours. And she even worked there. So we're gonna have to weigh this up. Well, we're absolutely shocked by this. There is no key for petrol and it's quite quiet. But that's always the case where I live. People don't tend to over panic. We did all right during COVID, didn't we? Right, looking for AMPR cameras now. I've just seen two right there. Ah, baby's just seen two. In the middle two. of the car park. Though. In the middle of the car park. Well, there's none as I enter Tesco's grounds there. So how would they know? And they can't just have them anywhere on the car park. It's got to be on the entrance and exits. Otherwise, how do they know you've left? You could have gone any way around the car park to get out. So let's weigh this up a bit. And then we might have a walk around and see what the score is. Now I want to be parked also where I can do stealth camera so I can see what's going on oh uh, yeah that's not Tesco's there no now he's in the car park space that I want to be in up against that what do you think or do we want to creep in a bit forward we'll settle here for now for a minute We'll have a quick walk around and weigh up where these AMPR cameras are. Well, it looks as though it looks as though there's a bit of a rally meeting over there because of all those exhausts you can hear going and the bangs. That's what today's generation are into. Just going to have a look at this parking sign now. So it's a seventy-pound fine if more than three hours. Or warden patrols, so that must be what Sheila said. She said that um, they do a watch, didn't she? It's actually somebody paid to come round and try and find us. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right, let's go and have a look at the other car park opposite. So we found another car park. Yeah, it's got a height restriction, but Baby thinks we're going to be all right under 2.1. I think that'll be tight, but we'll have a look. And we don't think that there's any restrictions on that. It just says gates will be locked after, what time was it? Uh, the last bus, 6.40. Last bus, so this is the park and ride place. So we think we'll be all right there and we're overlooking Tesco's. So it still counts. So we're gonna have a walk into Tesco's now and we're gonna get our food. And we are literally 10 yards outside of the car park, but it still counts. If you can't do three hours, then that's what we're gonna have to do. Right, straight to the food aisle. So here we are, getting the food. Got a little bit waylaid here, haven't we, baby? Thought we said we were gonna try and avoid this. Caught in the ladies' section, looking at clothes. We've got one item. We took it, took a fancy to those. Getting a few things together now, and we've started breakfast. I'll talk you through that after. The trolley's filling up now. Wonder who those are for. So we've just got back to the van and there's two security guards. They were kind of stood there just staring at us. So they're absolutely on it here. And what they do here is walk around and notice that you've been here and then start timing you. So there is no AMPR, we've looked all the way around. So we can't park right next to Tesco's as our next door neighbor said. So we're gonna head off up to the other car park. We're all the rally drivers are.
cars by the side of us. They're not gonna be here all night. They've all got work in the morning. And we've got Tesco's right in front of us. So we should get a good view on the camera. And we've got Tesco's 24 hour petrol station over there. Cool. What are you doing there? Right, let's get in the back. Okay, so we've got some camembert, olives, more olives, chicken, sugar snaps, potato wedges, baby corn, Mascarpone and red onion ravioli. Bacon for in the morning. That'll go with our mushrooms. Some bread for dipping, paninis. Some baps for in the morning. The classic red onion chutney. Some lure pack. We couldn't get real butter because it melts. Uh, it melts, it's rock hard, I mean. It doesn't melt. Some laksa sauce, never heard of it. Baby's gone for pineapple juice tonight. And that's your lot. Superb. So we're gonna have a go at cooking or warming this uh, camembert, what's it called? Camembert. Camembert. By putting a bit of water in the pan and just uh, simmering it slowly, see what happens. I'm already deep into my olives. Okay. Baby's had a few of hers. I say hers, she didn't want the chilli ones. And we're gonna let battle commence. So while baby's doing a bit of the old uh, preparation, I'm gonna have a quick look at the camera which is on the roof, which is focused on the petrol garage. See what that picture looks like. Okay, that was a good view. Can you hear them exhaust going, listen? Typical, they stop as soon as I do that. Anyway, that's a good view. Let's have a look at the rear fixed camera. You can hear them exhaust now, can't you? It's like bonfire night here, fireworks. Not a bad view. So we'll have a look at the front facing camera, which is right by Tesco's. It's no more than a hundred yards away from us. That's good, and then we'll switch the roof camera around to face the front of Tesco, so it should have gone into night mode by now. I'll just give you 10 seconds of that, and then that's all the camera's done for you. You can see exactly where we are. Put the spuds on early doors. I think that's working. We'll have a look in a minute. It's been about 15 minutes now, let's have it. Oh yeah, it's on the turn. It's taken a while though. And then we've got those which are gonna be the main. So that's worked out well. We've got the bread, what's this bread called, baby? Panini. Panini. Got that cheese, camembert. We've got some onion relish. Looking forward to this. And that's just my portion. It's the starters. It's the starters, yeah. Now this, couldn't have been cooked any better. That's absolutely delicious, that. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. She had all three. She must have done two for one then. Get some chicken in. 
just coming up to 11 o'clock. We still haven't had our main meal yet, but we're in no rush tonight. The cars, there's probably about half as many that were there. Probably about 10 or 15 cars left now. They're still revving. The funny thing is, you can't get any diesel at the moment, or petrol. <laughs> so I think the garage by us is empty. Panic buying. Never mind. Okay, people, so that competition that I announced earlier in the previous video, that finishes tomorrow, which is now today when I release this video. So it's Saturday the 25th and it ends at midnight. So that's your chance to win 30 pounds. You'll have to go to the Towering with Jace video and you'll have to like and just put a comment, any comment. And that puts you in the draw, which I'll do live that following week and I'll release as a video short. And then it'll be up to the winner to get hold of me through email if I don't know them and uh, we'll arrange how you're going to get your cash prize, £30. So don't forget that town video with me and Jace. Closes tomorrow night or tonight because it's released today. <laughs> so uh, I recorded a video earlier in the shed and it's because I received a sticker of Fix It and Strip It. So let me show you that now. Hi guys, so I got that mail call. Neil, uh, fix it or strip it. And he sent me two. I've got a bit of his brother's music playing in the background because that's how he does it. Without doubt, one of my favorite YouTube channels this is. I see Neil in his little shed. He's got a little 10 by eight, I think it is. Or it might even be a six by four. <laughs> but he's like a mad professor in there. He's getting into his powder coating. He's fixing his lawn mowers. It's just an absolutely brilliant channel. It's got a lovely feel to it. And I really do recommend you go and have a look and uh, give him a little sub. Again, he's only got a few subscribers, but they're building every day, same as myself. We're just getting into it. We're late comers to YouTube, if you like. But please go and have a look at uh, Fix It or Strip It. Let me show you what his channel looks like. And let me show you the man himself, Neil. Right, without further ado, let's get these beauties up. So here we are at the sticker board. Got my glasses on for this one. And we've got him peeled off. And he's gonna go next to DNR. That's superb, and I'm extremely proud to have that sticker nail, and I appreciate it very much. And you've sent me a pen as well. Uh, I haven't brought the pen with me, sorry. That's in the ice. Wife's using that. <laughs> so, if you have a look at Neil's videos on Fix It and Strip It YouTube channel, you'll also see that he puts his stickers on his windows. I've always said to him, don't collect too many stickers because it's going to get dark in that shed come summertime. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, and it's because it's Neil, no other person's going to get this privilege. I'm going to put Neil's other sticker on my window. Let's show you. So as always on my channel, whenever I get a sticker, everybody gets a shout out. The Rusty Rooster, Tom Doby, the Lawnmower Detective, Ken Small Engine Repair, Scotty Daniel, of course, Grandpa Kevin. Then we've got Tim Grass Cutter Palmer, Grave Demand, Small Engine Repair, DNR, and the new one, Fix It or Strip It. And then looking on the other board, Mix Mowers doing really well, 10,000, only last week. Ali Mack, Braveheart Scrapper, Henry Morosky. Can't focus, that's it. Andrew Thorne. Neville at Tinkering Taylor. He's he's been doing a few. Uh, what do we call it? Where they uh, do a clickbait title. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Nev. Scrap it, man. Which is now Project Man. AJP Gardens. 
that uh, online forum, UKGASA.com. Rayleigh's small engines, Mr. T shirts, Rick's mowers, and of course, Butler's Empire and Retro Restore. These are all great channels, guys. There's no way they'd be on my board unless I liked them. And that's the honest truth. Now I am waiting for a sticker from Jungle Bob. It still hasn't come, but he assures me it's on its way. So come on, Jungle Bob. I want you on this board, mate. Here we go. It's going to go on the side window. And that's it. And that will be the only sticker that goes on a window in my shed. And that's in honour of Neil at Fix It or Strip It. Right, let's get back to that stealth video. And there we have it. Just got a bit of sauce to put on. And that is lunch. Right, we're all tidied up. And it looks as though the cars have gone away, so that's cool. Well, it's 11 o'clock. No, it's not 11 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock. Uh, we've had our food, we're tired now, so we're gonna watch a bit of drama and I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. o'clock slept absolutely brilliantly uh, all the cars had gone about 12 30 ish I think and we've had no disturbances overnight so it's been really good we're gonna wake up and get up and get a bit of breakfast and then we'll uh, hightail home but no good Good little stealth camp, right, baby? Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing behind us, which is brilliant. And Tesco's is really busy this morning. And that petrol garage is picking up as well. So I'm going to cook some bacon now. Let's have a bit of breakfast and a coffee. Just add a few bacon bits there. Haven't you, cat? Okay, folks, that's it for this one. That's the closest you're going to get to Tesco's on a Tesco stealth camp. Don't forget that competition closes Saturday 25th, isn't it, baby? Saturday the 25th, which is today at midnight. Catch you later. Good luck. Take care.